Have you ever stopped to wonder just how big of a role petrol plays in our daily lives? From powering our vehicles to fueling industries worldwide, petrol has become our time savior in an age where mobility and energy are indispensable. Imagine a world where the concept of the wheel, a symbol of human ingenuity and progress, becomes little more than a joke without the discovery of petrol. From ancient chariots to modern automobiles, our history is intertwined with the evolution of transportation fueled by this invaluable resource. But even though it's omnipresent, do we truly understand the complicated process behind its creation? Join me as we journey through time and watch out for the pivotal role petrol has played in shaping our past, present, and future. Petroleum, sometimes called crude oil or just oil, is a naturally formed liquid made up mostly of hydrocarbons that is yellowish black in color. It can be found in rock formations. The word petroleum can be used for both naturally occurring crude oil that hasn't been changed in any way and petroleum goods made from refined crude oil. The term petroleum originates from the Latin word petroleum, which means rock oil. Latin petra means rock, from Greek petra, and oleum means oil, from Greek elaon. Chapter History Petroleum has a long history dating back thousands of years. The ancient Sumerians used bitumen, a form of petroleum, to make boats over 4,300 years ago. In Babylon, asphalt was used in construction and there were oil pits nearby. Ancient Persian tablets mention petroleum's medicinal and lighting uses. In ancient China, petroleum was discovered and used in its raw form over 2,000 years ago and by the 4th century BCE, it was used as fuel. Greek fire, an incendiary weapon, utilized petroleum in the 7th century. Persian chemists distilled crude oil in Baghdad, where streets were paved with tar derived from petroleum. Oil fields in modern Azerbaijan were exploited in the 9th century, as described by Arab geographers and Marco Polo. Distillation of crude oil spread to Western Europe through Islamic Spain by the 12th century. In Romania since the 13th century, petroleum has been recorded for its uses. The Seneca people in western Pennsylvania dug deep oil pits as early as the 15th century. British explorers documented oil extraction in Myanmar in 1795. Merkwiller Pekelbronn in Europe is considered the first site of petroleum exploration, with active springs used since 1498, particularly for medical purposes. Throughout history, petroleum has played a vital role in various civilizations, from ancient times to the present day. Chapter Formation and Extraction of Crude Oil Crude oil, also known as petroleum, is formed over millions of years through a process called sedimentation. It starts with tiny plants and animals in ancient oceans, dying and sinking to the bottom. Over time, layers of sediment, like mud and sand, cover their remains. As more layers pile up, the weight and pressure compress the organic material, turning it into a dark, gooey substance called kerogen. This process takes millions of years and happens in areas where there's little to no oxygen, like deep underwater or underground. As the temperature increases with depth, around 60 to 120 degrees Celsius, 140 to 248 degrees Fahrenheit, and pressure mounts, the kerogen undergoes further changes. This process, called diagenesis, transforms the kerogen into hydrocarbons, which are the primary components of crude oil and natural gas. Geological processes play a crucial role in the formation of crude oil. Tectonic movements like the shifting of plates can trap organic-rich sediments in large underground reservoirs. These reservoirs are often found in porous rocks, such as sandstone or limestone, which act like sponges, storing vast amounts of oil. Over time, the oil migrates upwards through tiny pore spaces in the rock until it reaches a barrier like impermeable shale or clay which traps it and forms an oil reservoir. This process can take millions of years and requires specific geological conditions to occur. Chapter Refining of Crude Oil As a result of a complicated process, crude oil is turned into many useful goods, including gasoline, diesel, jet fuel, and different petrochemicals. The process of processing usually takes place in big factories called refineries. A process called distillation separates crude oil into its different parts, which is the first step in refining. Large towers heat crude oil, which lets different chemicals evaporate at different temperatures. 
This splits the crude oil into different parts. The lighter parts float to the top, while the heavier parts sink to the bottom. Now, distillation is the main way that refineries work. In distillation chimneys, crude oil is heated to temperatures between 200 degrees Celsius and 350 degrees Celsius, 392 degrees Fahrenheit, and 662 degree F. Lighter hydrocarbons, like gasoline and naphtha, rise to the top of the tower as the oil heats up. Heavier hydrocarbons, like diesel and lubrication oil, settle at the bottom. Then each fraction goes through more steps to get rid of impurities and change its features. In addition to distillation, refineries use other methods to improve and refine oil goods even more. One method is cracking, which includes breaking up bigger molecules of hydrocarbons into smaller ones to get more valuable products like gasoline. Reforming and treating are two other methods. Reforming changes the chemical structure of hydrocarbons to make them better, and treating gets rid of impurities and contaminants from the fractions. However, why is refining important? So refining is important for getting different types of oil goods that we use in our daily lives. Gasoline-powered cars and trucks, diesel-powered ships and trains, jet fuel makes it possible to fly, and petrochemicals are used to make plastics, synthetic fibers, and medicines. Crude oil wouldn't be useful without being refined, and many of the things we use every day would not exist. Chapter Environmental Impact From drilling and extracting oil to refining and distributing it, the whole process of making petroleum has big effects on the world. Putting out greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide and methane during the processing process is one of the most important problems. These gases make global warming and climate change worse, which is bad for the environment and people's health. Volatile organic compounds, sulfur dioxide, nitrogen oxides, and particulate matter are some of the pollutants that these refineries put into the air, water, and land. These toxins can pollute the water and air, cause smog, and cause acid rain all of which hurt both local environments and ecosystems. Also, when petroleum is burned in cars, it produces pollutants like carbon monoxide, nitrogen oxides, and hydrocarbons into the air. These pollutants make air pollution and breathing problems worse. Different technologies and measures are being used by governments and refineries to lessen the damage that making fuel does to the earth. To cut down on pollution and greenhouse gas emissions, this includes spending money on refining methods that are cleaner and more efficient, like catalytic converters and sulfur removal units. To power refineries and cut down on their use of fossil fuels, there is also more and more focus on making them more energy efficient and switching to green energy sources. At the local, national, and foreign levels, rules and laws are also being put in place to cut down on emissions and promote environmental sustainability. Some of these efforts are stricter emission guidelines for cars, tax breaks for developing renewable energy, and campaigns to support cleaner ways to get around, like public transportation and electric cars. Even though there are still big problems with making petroleum less harmful to the environment, people are working hard to improve technology, make things more efficient, and switch to cleaner energy sources. This is necessary to protect the environment and solve the global climate disaster. Chapter Future. As worries about climate change and the long-term health of the environment grow, more people want to look into renewable fuels and energy sources to use less petrol. Solar, wind, and hydroelectric power are all examples of renewable energy sources that are being worked on as options to fossil fuels. One more thing I'd like to say is that biofuels made from organic materials like plants and algae are being studied as possible alternatives to oil for cars. The methods used to make petroleum are getting better thanks to new technologies that make them more efficient and better for the environment. New technologies in refining, like improved catalysts and carbon capture systems, are making it possible to make gasoline with fewer emissions and less pollution. Also, studying different types of feedstocks and chemistry processes could lead to more environmentally friendly ways to make gasoline in the future. The petroleum industry's future is uncertain as different possible outcomes rely on things like new technologies, government rules, and consumer demand. In one situation, continuing to use petroleum causes the environment to get worse and resources to run out faster. On the other hand, switching to cleaner energy sources and other fuels could lead to less desire for petrol and eventually the end of making petrol altogether. At the end of the day, the petrol industry's future will probably be shaped by new technologies, 
market forces, and government policies meant to protect the climate. So, to fuel up your curiosity, do subscribe to the channel and like for more fascinating videos.